Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about the things I've been knitting since coronavirus started and we all had a lot more time on our hands. Coronavirus actually has made me like rediscover my creative side which has been super fun and I'm I feel very lucky that I have stayed healthy and have been given the chance to do this without dying. So um, let's just get started. I knitted this back in like, I knitted this back in March, uh, so right at the very beginning, like end of March, beginning of April, and I have the pattern here, which I'm going to link in the description because it's not, I didn't make this pattern, so I'm going to link it. It's a great pattern. It's a little bit confusing to read at first, but it's for a like little bralette top, which initially, I, you can see it here, like initially I wanted to just make it longer. This is what I ended up with. I wanted to just make it longer than it was in the picture and create a tank top. That was the goal. And I had this cotton yarn left over from this older like sweater that I made and I remember being like, oh, okay, I have this. This is probably enough to make this thing, but make it long. And then I'll have a tank top for summer and I wouldn't have to buy anything because I'm just using up scrap yarn and like what else, what could be better than that? Yeah, well, I ran out of yarn. So I have this, I use it to sleep in because I don't like, I don't go out of the house wearing this. It, it feels, it feels like not enough clothes. Uh, so yeah, I sleep in it and it's been lovely to sleep in, but ultimately I was going for a tank top. So um, I am making another one, um, which I actually stopped working on this like two months ago to work on a different project, which I will show you in a minute. But um, I'm making this one out of this yarn that my uh, Nana got me and I love it. It's really nice, but it's lace weight. So I mean, I'm not a smart yarn user. Like probably I'm not gonna get the length that I want out of this either. But I've used like, I've, this is about a quarter of this, mm, a third of this ball of yarn. And I've got like this long. So if I mold, and then I've got a whole nother ball here. So if I multiply this by, if this is the third and I have two more thirds, it'll be like three times this length plus three more times, I think I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what this turns out as, except that I have stopped working on it. So um, until my yarn for my next project gets here in the mail. I ordered it two days ago, so it'll be here very soon, so I need to get cracking. Um, or maybe I should just make myself finish this before I start a new project. That's probably what I should do. Um, I'm gonna keep working on it. But I mean, it's lace, like, come on. Like, that's gonna take me forever, so I'll, I'll decide. Usually I'm not this distracted. Usually I like having one project at a time. I don't like flipping between them. So I don't know where this Natalie came from, but COVID Nat is, distractible apparently so this is what i quit working on this for um i saw a pinterest post i'm going to insert it here i don't know what it was about those coasters but i saw it and i was like i want to make that so i but i don't really need any coasters i have a lot of them already so I um, bought black and white yarn, because that's what I liked best about it, and I decided to make a set of 12 dish towels instead. I'm going to link the pattern for this below. This was a free pattern that I found on the Molly Makes website. It's a British um, DIY magazine that I, my mom used to subscribe to, so I used to look at all the stuff. But um, it's a free pattern on their website, so I'll link it. And um, I love these. Now granted, I made mine. The original size is very small. It's about this big which to me is not big enough for a dish towel. So I added stitches. I think I cast on 45. I definitely, yeah, I cast on 45 for these. So for this, I used sugar and cream yarn, but just in three colors. So in white, black, and then this uh, sugar and cream twists. I put them all in a basket and they like fit perfect and it's the happiest thing ever. It just looks so cute. Oh my God. Okay, I, I, should I take every single one out? I'm gonna take every single one out. Um, there are, some duplicates this one's just the plain black one you can't really see the pattern on this i'll show you on the white and then i would half the colors same thing with the black 
And here's the plain white. I think you should be able to see the, the um, pattern on this. So it's a garter stitch around the edge, which is why it's not curling. And then um, just little dots in between, which I think, I don't know. I think it's so cute and it's so simple and it seems like, I don't know, sometimes simple seems just better. Um, this one, oh, this is the only one I did with all three colors. And this is the full twist. I think that covers every type. It does. So I actually have four more in there, but I mean, they're duplicates, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I'm, you know, I've never held them all in my hands before. They just feel so substantial. I am so happy with them. It's absurd how happy it makes me to look at these towels. They're towels. But I'm, um, I'm moving within the next, uh, next year I'll be moving. And so I'm very excited to start um, kind of making things and establishing the type of decor that I'm gonna want in the place where I'm living. So now I have some necessities already produced, uh, which I produced in the very, very lot of free time coronavirus allowed me to have. So um, right now I'm waiting on yarn for a tank top that I saw on Instagram, which I'll I'll probably make another video about it later actually, but it's another tank top. Like I said, it's hot as hell here and I'm not trying to sweat anymore. And so I bought the yarn, although I bought wool, I don't know how well it's gonna work. I bought the yarn, but I have a feeling that when I get it, she's gonna go back on the save for later pile. Maybe I'll be good, maybe I'll finish this. I'll start today and if I'm having a good time, maybe I'll work on finishing it before I start the next one. But I don't know when that yarn gets here, I'm gonna be too excited, so who knows. Um, anyway, that's all for today's video. I just wanted to make a short little check-in. Um, and hopefully like my first video I ever posted on here was a knitting tutorial. If you taught yourself to knit, you have 12 dish towels to look forward to. Imagine knitting your own dish towels. You don't have to go to Pier 1 and like, find, okay, actually Pier One's not expensive. Where's expensive? Pottery Barn. You don't have to go to Pottery Barn and find the cute ass towels and then be like, oh wait, they're $45. This yarn, I bought three each of these and two of these because they were super rolls. And I believe my total was around $25 and I obviously have some left over. So, you can customize them for half of the Pottery Barn price. Also, I should just say, I don't hate Pottery Barn and I don't actually know that they have $45 towels. So, this is irrelevant. Um, anyway, uh, have fun knitting. I hope you enjoyed me showing you what I'm working on and I will see you next time. Bye.